Hello everybody, it's Claire from Clear Path Guidance and Tarot coming to you for your monthly love reading for the sign of Leo. And this is for the month of March. I kind of have a makeshift um, card holder here. I had something else that I was using, an old um, uh, cassette tape deck holder, and I lost it. I don't know where it went. So anyway, so I'm using this now. For anybody who is new to my channel or who's just come across my reading, I just wanted to tell you a little bit about myself. I am an empath and I've been doing this for about five years now and the last six months I've been doing this on YouTube. I've been charging for my um, readings. I charge $40 for a reading and I get you to go ahead and email me your questions and once you email me the questions I will video the reading and record it and send you the link and you can go ahead and watch it. Um, I used to do FaceTime and, and those things but it's really hard if you're not in North America it's really hard to line up a time because a lot of cases you're going um, some people are going to bed when I'm waking up and vice versa and it doesn't work. I really don't want to be influenced as well by the way you look or by the way you act or talk or respond. Um, this way you can email me your questions. Um, however vague they may be, I can still tap in and I'm very, very good at what I do. I really am not, um, I'm always spot on. Always, always, always. It's very, very rare that I'm, I miss, I miss one or thing or two things, but I always get an email back saying, wow, you're amazing. And there is no um, limit to the questions. I've had some people email me 23 questions. And I've had, I've had other people email me, tell me about my husband. Okay, what do you want to know about your husband? <laughs> and they really don't give me a whole lot to go with. So even with just tell me about my husband, tell me about me, I can still do an accurate reading. And... Uh, so for anybody that this reading doesn't resonate with, and if you want to get a personal reading from me, I'm more than happy to do a reading. I don't need a bunch of information like their first name and their birth date and their moon sign, rising sign, ascending, blah, 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 right? I don't need to know your, I don't want your first son and I don't want your blood type and I don't need all of that. I don't. Sometimes I do need a first name and just a little bit of history, just a tiny bit. If I can't tap in, I just need a little bit. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm uh, more than happy to help. I'm more than happy to do a reading. I send you the video, you watch it. And if there's any more questions, you go ahead and email me back and I will answer more questions for you. There is no limit. Um, I do have people that I've read for in the past who will still email me and say, can you pull a card? And I'm like, sure, I can pull up a card. No problem. I have no issues with doing that. Back in October, I offered a free question to everybody, anybody who emailed me, and those people who have, have never paid for a reading, and I still help them. They email me, can you pull a card? What's going on with this guy now? Blah, blah, blah. I'm more than happy to help. All right, that's a little bit about me. I'm sorry, I'm three minutes into this. So, okay, on with the reading for you, um, Leo's here. So the very first card here is make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So whatever relationship you're in right now, and if it's going bad or if it's a little rocky or what's going on, make the effort. Open your heart. This person is in your life for a reason. Make an effort with them. All right, um, I'm just going to grab my book because, um, I mean, really look at the card and, and it kind of speaks for itself, right? But I just want to go to the book and see exactly, I don't want to miss anything. You receive this card because some action steps on your part are necessary in order for your prayers about your love life to be answered. The angels have opened the doors for you and now it's time for you to walk through them. The first thing that comes to mind with respect to taking action is a good starting place for you. When you ask for spiritual help, you always receive it. Often this help comes in the form of intuitive guidance, which consists on repetitive feelings and thoughts. You get the sense that you should do this or that. You receive this card as a nudge to actually take the action. So what they're saying is they've given you this person. So now open the door and make the effort. All right. So then the next card I pulled is romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So, you know, you've got make the effort. And you've got the romantic feelings, so explore. So one card is backing the next. Start exploring, open your heart, see what this relationship has to offer. Don't close your heart off to anybody, all right? So romantic feelings is the stirring, the stirrings within your heart present the song of romance calling to you. This card comes to you as guidance to follow the pathway of those feelings. Perhaps you've met someone who made your heart leap. 
and you wondered whether to pursue him or her. Well, this card says that the answer is yes. Take action by flirting, asking the person out on a date, or making you feeling no making your feelings known. If you've recently been longing for more romance in your life, this card is a signal to take charge of making that happen. You can romance yourself by, for example, treating yourself to a luxuri luxurious massage or pedicure. All right. Um, and it also says you can also actively pursue and attract romance. First, affirm that this is already inside of you. A partner definitely brings these feelings to the surface. However, they were within you as potentially potential initially. The more you affirm I am romantically loved, the more you attract this condition within yourself and through a relationship. All right. And the last card here is it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So I mean like these three are pretty much talking about the same thing. Make the effort. It's worth it. Romantic feelings. They're worth exploring and it is safe for you to love again. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. What have I been saying? Open your heart. Don't close it. You deserve it. You're worth it. All right. Romantic feelings. Isn't that funny? All three of them. So it looks like the theme for this month is you guys have to open your hearts. Romantic feelings. It is safe for you to love again. Let me just see what the, the book says about that. Um, okay. All right. I could just what, know what goes after H. <laughs> all right. It is safe for you to love. This card indicates... That you're protecting your heart from the hurt because of painful relationship experiences. However, the angels can only bring as much romance as you'll allow inside. If you have a shield around your heart, how is love to get in? A closed heart repels a sensitive partner you're trying to attract. Following your inner guidance will protect you and simultaneously allow you to feel loving, loved and loving. Trust your intuitive senses with respect to other people's trustworthiness. And open your heart to those who are kind and gentle. Ask the angels to bring caring individuals into your life. And they'll do so. Provided that you listen to and follow their guidance. Alright. So they are saying make the effort. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. And it is safe to love. Open your heart guys. Okay. I know you Leo sometimes you have a hard time with that. But really open your heart. And if this reading doesn't resonate with, resonate with you, I'm more than happy to give you a reading as well. If you want to email me, my email address will be at the bottom of the video in the text box. And um, uh, like I said, um, I will um, help you best as I can. I have a very, very good track record. So um, uh, I, have, uh, I have full confidence that it can help you. All right. I wish all of you Leos a wonderful March. Bye-bye.